We are now two weeks from the start of the school year for most school districts and as parents get ready to send their kids back to class, getting into the school year routine starts right now. To help families ease the anxiety and stress around back to school is Cam Frazier, who's the founder and principal of Becoming Collegiate Academy in Jacksonville. Good morning, Cam. It's great to see you this morning. Good morning. Good to see you as well. All right, let's talk about the transition. This has got to be the hardest part because kids who aren't going to camp and getting up early have over the summer started to sleep in later and later. What is your suggestion for trying to get them back into that school schedule? Yeah, um, I suggest that parents start getting kids ready now um, to transition back into their school schedule. Um, I would suggest the parents to start allowing their kids to go to bed 30 minutes earlier each week um, until they reach their desired time so that students are ready, um, full of energy for the first day of school. I love how you say allowing their kids to go to bed earlier. <laughs> how do you talk <laughs> a kid into going to bed earlier? Um, games, different activities you can do, uh, reading with them are always great activities, practicing different breathing and mindfulness techniques. Um, just make um, that transition and going back to sleep um, really something that's fun for kids and setting goals with them and having um, different um, incentives for them once they reach those goals. And, you know, a lot of us, but parents, too, experience anxiety before school starts, especially when you've got a child who's maybe starting middle school for the first year or high school. Uh, what do you recommend to help them with their quality of sleep? Yeah, we all experience first day jitters, even um, a staff at school. Um, so no need to uh, feel um, that you're alone there. Um, I would suggest to parents to uh, talk to their kids about school, um, talk to them about all the friends that they're going to meet, all the great fun they're going to have, the great things they're going to learn, uh, meeting their teachers for the first time, uh, reading with them. There are a lot of great books. My favorite is First Day Jitters, uh, which helps me get ready for the first day of school. Uh, so there are many, so many great things that parents can do, but I would suggest limiting technology and just talking about the positive, the positive things that's going to happen this school year uh, to get their kids really excited. Okay, it's interesting that you bring up technology because I don't know about anyone else's kids, but mine's like this, every opportunity. How do you uh, separate them from their electronics? Yeah, it's a slow transition, right? So I would suggest the parents to limit it um, at least an hour, two hours before they go to bed. Uh, research suggests that Blu-ray light uh, typically um, distracts kids. Um, so that is a longer transition and runway to getting them to go to sleep. Um, so I would suggest the parents just put them on limits, put them on time limits, um, limit them throughout the day, um, just so they can know like, hey, we're, we're getting back in the rhythm of, of going to school. So that's 30 minutes technology, 30 minutes of reading, um, an hour of technology, an hour of doing um, this activity, um, just so they can get back in the rhythm of um, transitioning from summer fun um, to school fun. Can you give us an estimate as to how much sleep these kids need at, at different ages? Yeah, uh, research suggests um, between ages 6 and 12 that kids need about um, 9 to 12 hours of sleep. Um, I would suggest on the higher range for those kids. Um, and then for our teens, they need about 9 to 10 hours of sleep. Wow, that's a lot of sleep. It's hard to get them to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, uh, but if you make it fun, you set goals, um, and you do the right things, uh, they, they would definitely get there. Just talk to them about all the fun they're going to have, and they'll dream about it and wake up so ready for the first few days of school. I love your suggestions. Cam Frazier, thanks so much for waking up early with us this morning. Uh, thank you for having me.